Hello everyone. We will continue the topic enhancements and modification and we are creating our own new body or kernel body. So as a part of that, we finished with body definition part and we created two body implementation. Now we will see. Suppose now this body definition has two body implementation and now how the output will impact now. Till when we have the one implementation, okay, no problem. Now we have two implementation. Suppose currently the customer team from US is running this program. How it will be? I'll put a breakpoint. I'm running important, extremely important point because based upon that, we need to learn new topic. Object is initial as of now. Now the object is created. Now, whenever the object will create, we will call this method. And we have two implementations. Firstly, I will do F5. First implementation called and the value is what? Capital X. First implementation called. Now, second implementation also called after that. And what is the value of we gave? Y. Firstly, we gave X. Then we gave Y. And what is the final result now? Final result is Y because the first implementation after the first implementation, second implementation called and we are getting the final result as what? Y. So second implementation called at the last. So what the result will be? Y. Now the US customer is saying, I'm getting a wrong output. But Japan customer is saying, yes, this program is working fine for me. So now we can never, never control the sequence of the body implementation. We can never, never control. Now the question comes, if we can never control the sequence, but how we can make this program to work for the US customer, it should give the value X for the customer team of Japan region. It should give the value Y. So what is the solution for the same extremely important concept from the interview perspective? Anyone who is conducting the interview on body topic, they will definitely ask this question. Now, how we can go for the Filtering of implementations. The most important word is filtering, filtering. And I'm using the word filtering of implementation. It means whenever US customer team is running, yes, at that time, we should only, only go for which implementation? First implementation. Whenever Japan customer team is running at that time, we need to call which implementation only second implementation. It means we are calling a dedicated implementation. We are filtering a dedicated implementation. So how we will achieve that concept? So we have a concept body with filters. And definitely in the projects, you will get a chance to work on body with filters whenever you want to filter the implementations. So now what we will do, we will create a filter and whenever we have the US, we will give some filter value. Whenever we have this Japan, we will give some filter value. Now we will simply, simply learn how to create a filter. Extremely important learning. 
previously if if a body definition is given by sap at that time you will not get a chance to learn filter because sap provided the filter because we are creating everything by our own so you are getting a chance to create filter also so now we will create a filter so what we will do i will go to sc18 this is our enhancement spot now i will create a filter so i will simply simply right click on the body definition have you seen we are getting a chance to create filter yes if we are simply using sap things yes we will never get a chance to learn these things as we are doing everything by our own so it's a additional learning for us i will go for create filter now i will give some filter name you can give any filter name it is totally totally your wish suppose i am saying filter name is z filter you can give any name it is your wish now we will choose the filter type suppose our filter is of numeric type we will give the numeric values to the filter so i will give the description filter for values i will go for okay now i will simply simply activate the enhancement spot because i did the changes we created the filter now we have the filter now we have how many implementations we have two implementations so we will assign one value to the first implementation one value to the second implementation so i will simply simply click on to implementations you can go through sc19 also not an issue but from sc18 itself we have a option to navigate to implementations this is our first implementation this is our second implementation so i will go for first implementation i will go for filter values now i will simply simply double click now we will go for filter values now for the first implementation i will provide the filter value i'll go to change mode now i will click on to combination this part is very important to see because maximum mistake will be done here itself i will again show you suppose so that there will not be any mistake you can simply simply click on to first implementation previously by mistake i clicked on to filter value just you can remove you there is no need to click on into this simulate filter value just firstly click on to first implementation you will get a chance you will get filter value go to change mode click on to filter values click on to combination now click on to this button click on to this button now what is our filter z filter for the first implementation we will go for filter is equal to 1 because we this is the way because we need to filter the implementation so we need to give some value to the filter so for the first filter we gave the value 1 and you took a numeric filter type so we need to give the numeric value i'll go for okay once i will do the second implementation it will give you more clarity i'm activating i'll go to back 
Now I will go to second implementation. I will go to change mode. Okay. I'll just see. I think it's already open. I will close. Yes, it is already open somewhere. Now I will open here. Now I will click on to filter values. I will click on to combination button. I will click on to this button. Now for the second implementation, suppose I'm going for value is equal to two. I'll go for okay. Now I will activate the second implementation also. So what is the summary of the video up to this level? We now we have the two implementations. Now those implementations are calling one after the another. Then what is happening if US customer team is running? That is also getting the result by and thus Japan in any ways working fine. Suppose think you have 10 implementation. It means those 10 implementations will call one by one and whatever the last implementation will call, it will override the result of all nine implementation. But this is not real project. If we have the customer office in 10 different location, so every location might want a different result. So at that time, we need to filter the implementations. Means for this particular region, only this implementation will call. For this particular region, this implementation will call. So SAP is saying, okay, I am providing you a filter concept. Just use that filter concept. Then we are learning that topic, body with filters. We created the filter through SC18 transaction code. We took the type of the filter as numeric and we gave some name to the filter. Then we went for the two implementations. For the first implementation, we gave the filter value 1. For the second implementation, we gave the filter value 2. Now in the next video, we will see how we can use these filter values to call the specific implementation. So that's it in this video. Thank you.